All right, we're back. A little bit of oxygen not included again. Uh, I'm going to do a couple up. This will be like an update video. What's going on in the base and what I've been doing. Prepare to see lots of jump cuts. You can see the already cycle has increased. Went ahead and built some cargo haulers. And uh, those are ready to be launched. Just built them. So they are ready. Unfortunately, you know, these are buggy. And that's fine. Uh, we're going to go get some iso resin and some niobium from the two different planets. Yeah, so we can get our... No, I want you to go in there. Apparently I forgot one. I think this one, but that's eh, fine. There we go, and off we go. Both of our rockets heading off into the into the save game lag. Wow, that's annoying. Okay. So what else has been going on? Oh, let's go ahead and I think this is the ejected mer. Uh, yes. And the other one is the Spirit of Daring Explorer. I had to shut these off. Well, uh, we were not using them, so we'll turn these back on. Oh. Ejected Mur. Spirit of Daring. Turn those back on. Okay, what else have we been doing? In the meantime, well, we had a little problem over here again. For some reason, this heat, I think that, uh, yeah, these overheated again. I don't know, honestly, why or, and Regolith is ending up down here for some, some strange reason. Regolith is getting through. I don't know why that is. Uh, I heard two more duplicates, better duplicates. Don't you shed a tear. Don't you dare shed a tear for those two other ones. They, they were. Nothing but troublemakers. Uh, what else we used to do in the meantime? Well, we came down here. And all the way down here. And you came down here. And I created a cooling loop. Instead of... Uh, so now this is running petroleum. Cooling this down. <laughs> it's going to take forever to cool this. You know, now We'll need super coolant to make this really functional. But we got that taken care of. So I started on a cooling loop here. I went ahead and added a few more Weez Warts. Well, because it was getting cool, cold down here, but it wasn't getting cold up here. So I went ahead and added a few more. Get that taken care of. Also, uh, our water is uh, starting to fill up. And sometimes these turn on, the uh, steam turbines. This is all filling up. It's about 300 degrees down here. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's pretty dead. I was going to do, um, some cooling loops here, but I've, I've kind of decided against that. We're just going to seal this up. I'm going to tear this area apart here, tear out the steam turbines at a later date. Also, I have, I've got to fix this still. Uh, also I have been, uh, pumping the water out of this here. So all the water is getting pumped out and being a drop down to the bottom of the map. Something I've always wanted to do, core out the bottom of the map. So eventually we'll turn all this steam into water. It'll be great. Oh, some salt water evaded us. And there's some petroleum down here and such. Actually, been keeping an eye out for a duplicate, another duplicate or two, but uh, hmm. like we could get a replacement Bonnie. And that's the thing. Oh, also, I set this up. This is an auto sweeper system, uh, so all, we have all this material. Instead of trying to have the duplicates pick all this stuff up, it's a lot of junk. So we're starting right here, and these are picking up all the. I started on this one. 
And then as soon as all the materials have been picked up, we'll turn this one on here, which will dump all the materials into the dispenser. And then the sweeper will pick them up and deliver them into the two auto loaders. These two auto loaders. Well, where do they go? Well, they go beyond the save game lag. That's where they go. So they go all the way up here. All the way up here to our storage bins. There we go. So all the store, all the material is going to end up right here. Don't have to worry about it. They all get picked up eventually. Uh, so that's that's what I've done for the last few episodes. And we'll see you when I have another update. Uh, we're back for a quick update. <clears throat> well, there was a big major catastrophe. As you can see, a lot of damage occurred up here. Well, we had a slight problem. The satellite scanners, the space scanners, were going absolutely bonkers. They were shutting on and off and on and off. What that was doing was opening the doors, closing the doors, opening the doors. Of course, drawing huge amounts of power. And then what occurred, of course, the solar panels weren't charging. Because the solar panels weren't charging. And I was blissfully, you know, working on other projects, doing other things, and... You know, none of my solar panels were charging. Ah, uh, so I, like, and suddenly I lost power throughout the base. I mean, everything went out. I'm like, what is going on here? The only thing that didn't go out was oxygen production. Oxygen production stayed up operational. I had to build emergency uh, hamster wheels because I lost power in my base. Because the batteries weren't charging. Because the solar was offline. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get these things to shut or open fast enough. So now that now everything looks uh, like it's working, but you can see all the damage. I mean, there was lots of stuff going on. I had guys up here drilling and trying to get this out. Duplicates died because they couldn't get down. Because these, I mean, and here you go again. It's like this should not be happening. These these robo miners should not be overheating in, for any reason. But somehow regolith is getting on here. It's heating up the it's heating up the cooling solution. Like there's no reason for regolith to just like just magically jump over. But that's what's occurring. So we and then I had to come back and rebuild these things. It was a colossal, horrible, massively terrible thing that was going on. Ah, yeah, and I was uh, blissfully building, you know, just building away. And, of course, it's nighttime. There we go. So now we're starting to get power again. And I hired two more duplicates. I got Bubbles and Auto. They, they're, they're, they're proving to be a very good duplicates. Uh, nothing was working. It was just it was a whole mess of horrible, terrible things going on. Normally, these supply way more power than we need. Uh, uh, we, we made one trip out, and these rockets are ready to go, but I haven't been able to send them because I was in the middle of crash course. Um, oh my God, what do I do? And I didn't build. I didn't build any coal generators. I didn't build any coal generators. Yeah, send these rockets up. And then I'll show you what I've been doing in the meantime. And we're just, we're going back here. Yeah, we, we got a few more. So it shows you how much resources are available. There we go. So I restarted the game a few minutes ago because the satellites were just, they were just going bonkers. And I was like, oh my gosh. The duplicates died because they were, they couldn't get out. And then they, what was worse is they wouldn't drill out the regolith. I tried to build ladders. I deconstructed this bunker door. And they were dying because they wouldn't get out. Here's another one that went out. Oh my gosh. 
just ridiculous. And the other problem is Louise Warts aren't getting cool cool enough. It's 200 degrees. I mean, it's chilling things down. But none of this should be happening with the regolith. I have never seen that happen before. Like, this side is perfect. Except for this little bit here. But this side has just been a mess. Hey, look at all that regolith just sitting there. 600 degree regolith. There goes another sweeper. It's like, it's just not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So you gotta demolish them and rebuild them. Which is a... And I checked. There's liquid there. So yeah. Um, so what have I been doing in the meantime? Well, obviously we have our emergency uh, hamster wheels that I had just finished building but also i've been uh well and nothing's going on over here um that's finished i have i kept this from you know moving on because our power is low basically i've just been uh slowly ripping apart this whole area over here water still being transported down to the bottom of the base that's drawing about a a kilo, uh, a kilogram, a, um, a kilowatt of power, but it's not a whole lot. And then we're going to start doing all of this. And of course, they haven't been able to get to their cooling tasks and feed the weasel warts. Uh, I had to shut off my cooling system for this because, well, <laughs> it wasn't uh, it wasn't cooling very well. Save game lag here. Boink, boink, boink. Yeah, this is still hot, but it's it's cooling it down. I mean, it's slowly dragging the temperature down. I had to shut this off because the power, you know, power. These aren't getting fed. So. And uh, what I was doing is I had come up here, over here. Over here. And I was just, you know, kind of clearing the area out, making things look nice. I said, you know what would be a good idea? If I went ahead and built another battery bank. And uh, it's a good thing I started. I actually started on the project. I'm like, yeah, you know what? We've got space. Let's build another battery bank. And then I noticed the, the, the power on these were falling. And I'm like, what's going on here? Well, why is this? This, this should not be happening. And I'm looking around trying to figure it out. I've got to give them probably two or three cycles just to catch up on all the stuff that was going on. Oh, I had to do... <laughs> the f they couldn't reach the food because the food wasn't getting into the refrigerator because we didn't have any power for the auto sweeper to take the... <laughs> to take the... To take the... Uh... <laughs> to, to take the food and put it into the refrigerator. Oh, my gosh. I think we're in good shape, though. We're going to wait for this to... Yeah, yeah, see, when we have power, we've got lots of power. You know? Now I'm freaking paranoid. I'm thinking about even building a bigger battery bank to store all the power. Like, that that just... was cra It was crazy. It was... crazy. I'm going to build our loader again and our receptacle. So yeah, it was it, it was it was it was horrible. It was horrible, and the Atmos suit docks weren't working. Fortunately, fortunately, I got the um, hamster wheels up and running in time. And, and it's funny that we're actually low on uh, phosphorite. I mean, we should have plenty. I'm just gonna have to give them like two or three cycles just to just to catch up on tasks that need to get done. Yeah. So I think the zombie spores have been pretty much eliminated from the ox. There's no, there's none of the oxygen. There's some in the carbon dioxide, which is, yeah. I think once we get rid of the carbon dioxide, we'll be fine. But uh, 
If not, then we'll have to think of something. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is all melted. Yeah, this, there was a big pile of water down here at one point, but not anymore. Apparently, the... the uh, it all flashed. Yeah, I don't know what was going. It was it was a horrible mess. It was horrible. I, th I think we're in good shape though. Let's go back up to the base. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Our power is starting to come back. Oh, let's see what I mean. It's like, oh, we're not going to build this. Yeah, we've got other things that need to be done. Uh, so that's it for the update. I'm going to try to finish this off, and now I'm real paranoid. I might even build a bigger battery bank. You never know what I might do. All right, we'll see you in a bit once I've figured out what I'm going to do. All right, we're back for a quick update again. A few cycles have passed. Everything is, well, it's going okay. Uh, I did expand my battery bank. Right, so, we have a large battery bank now. Uh, you know, I, I've got enough. I, I think we're good. And uh, this is taking a while to cool down. It's been uh, cooling down for the last ooh, 30, 40 cycles or something. So, it'll get cool eventually. So, we have a lot of power draw right now. Over there. Um, haven't done anything upstairs. Oh, yes, I did do something upstairs. I cleaned off all the regolith that was sitting in all of these little cubbies up here. And let me tell you, that made a huge difference. The They, they haven't overheated since. But uh, I'm still at 200 degrees, which I'm not happy about at all. Not at all. But hey, I had to build some uh, automatic dispensers to to get it done. It was just causing, like, look, that was clean earlier before. That metal ore was not there. So something is happening where regolith is popping in. I'll show you another thing I found. I remember when we built uh, this. We cleaned this out, and suddenly, magically. Some regolith appeared. It's like just out of the blue. Uh, there's no reason for it to have appeared, but it, it did. Uh, yeah, batteries are getting a little low. But we are running five aqua tuners. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yes, yeah, so we got some Atmos suits just laying around. I need to uh, put those up. There's like three or four of them laying around just... Sitting around doing nothing. So we, we're, we're producing plenty of power right now. Well, we're producing enough power to basically get the job done. These, This is off. We're not going to be using this anymore. Let's see here. Yeah. That... <coughs> Excuse me. It's six, six aqua tuners at 1,200 watts each. Uh, nothing else has been running, though. Haven't been making any steel or anything like that. And we have this battery bank, too. It's also, you know, rather chilly over here. Not sure why, but it is. Uh, I cleaned up. Oh, I did some major cleanup down here. Uh, first of all, we drained all of the water. All the water's been drained out. Probably should go ahead and get rid of these. Those pipes. I'll leave that one. Um, and also, yep, so this has all been cleaned up a little bit. It's not, it looks a lot nicer. Game response a lot smoother now. All that crazy stuff is in there. I'll leave this off for a while. Uh, I'm not going to be using this for a, a, quite a bit. I mean, we've got a little bit of water. You know. 
over here. Oh, the old save game lag. Yeah, a little bit, a little tank of water. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I cleaned up all this area. Still got a little bit more cleanup. We want to clean, uh, remove this wall. And i just been uh, adding tiles in, you know, for the fun of it. <clears throat> and I've been trying to cool down this stupid steam turbine. Problem is, once it's, I think it's hit, it was at 1,400 degrees at one time. So I got it down to 1,100, but I've got like, what, five weasel warts, six weasel warts over here. Trying to cool this thing. I right, temperature shift plates back there. <clears throat> I dumped water on top of it to try to cool it down some more. Just nothing seems to be working. I might pour some more water on top of it. You know. And there's just... It just does not want to cool down. It's getting there, sort of. Sort of. I've just been letting it run in the background. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully it'll eventually cool off. But if I get to the point in the game where... I'm ready to lock this place up. Yeah. I'm locking the place up. Also cleaned up all of this area. All the steam turbines are gone now. That's all taken care of. It's all locked. Put a nice layer of tile across there. All the steam turbines, we took those out. No. And uh, may have been a mistake to get rid of them so early. It was free power, but... It was kind of, it was fun. It was fun turning all of this steam, all the water into steam. And you'll notice all the water is gone. Like, it, the water has sought parity. Uh, parity? Par yeah, I think parity. So the water has turned into steam that was down here. And all I have is left is water, or steam, in the whole area. Except for, like, in here. Uh, also, yep, yeah, this whole bottom area have been nice... Nice and flat. So, like that. I started tiling in over here. You know, little bits at a time. And then, we now have... Three Aqua Tuners running. So, what's happening here? Well, well, it's going to be hot for a few minutes, but... I, that can't be helped. I've... I got a few things going on. So what's what's going on first? Well, the first thing that's happening is where I got a whole bunch of super coolant from our rocket missions. And I'm using the super coolant to cool down the area over here. Which, I mean, there's 459 kilograms of pressure in here. So it's going to take a while. If we look at our plumbing overlay, it's coming in at 170 degrees. goes through the first aqua tuner. Uh, it hits 150 degrees and then... All, obviously increases pressure uh, temperature I only had one aqua tuna running for a while and I'm like ah, that's not gonna work so I added two more and it comes back around so it's about 200 degrees goes through the first aqua tuna uh, goes down to 190 then we're at 160 degrees and this these two aqua tuners their only purpose is to cool down the steam turbines well the whole area is kind of toasty right now um, I put, because I didn't want to put any more of these power transformers up here, I went ahead and just cut through here and put in two joint plates. And uh, you can see the heavy watt wire down there. Uh, I had to break in from this side because, uh, well, that's where I broke in from. Save your money. So I broke in from this side built everything over here and then we have some doors here these mechanized airlocks are important <clears throat> so what's happening is the steam turbines you don't see, see the steam, see the steam turbines they're not dumping they're not dumping any water into into here and and why is that well we're taking the the water from the steam turbines and we're going to dump the water Right here. And this will be all 125-ish degree water. 
150 degrees over here, 100 degrees over there. So we're just going to take the, all the steam, and then when the steam runs low, because it's uh, 24 kilograms, so if this falls below 20,000, here we go, doors open, more steam rushes in, and then when it hits 20,000 kilograms, it shuts the doors again. And there's so much pressure out here, you know, 464 0.5 kilograms, which is a lot. It's you know, it's not a small amount. Um, it uh, well, you know, it just rushes in, and we're converting that into water because the steam turbines are doing their thing, and these are running at almost full 700 watts, 700 watts, 700. They're I don't think it's as power efficient. I don't think it's power efficient at all. Do the math. Uh, the other thing that we did here is we boxed this in. And this has been running for about five cycles, six cycles. And there's a lot of pressure in here. 300 kilograms of steam. And all that steam is being released into the atmosphere. Why is the steam being released into the atmosphere? Well, I, I, I need to... Uh, Well, we need to create an area. If I didn't do this, this whole area was steaming up anyway. And the heat from here was leaking out into this whole area. So eventually, once this cools down, or uh, we don't have any more steam in there, the, um, you know, it's going to take a while. There's, there's, there's a lot of steam in there. But these wheeze warts, I got wheeze warts over here. And the aqua tuners. Um, are cooling the area down. So it's a little bit warm right now. Not sure how that happened. Don't ask me. Um, all the water is just falling. We, we, we really don't care. It's going to fall down into here. Uh, and it's eventually going to fall down into here. You know, the, the whole place is going to become one big pile of sloppy heat. And for some real weird reason, I had built a wall here and we, I kept getting pressure damage from these tiles both of these broke out for some really weird reason i don't know why there's there, there wasn't any pressure like you know lots of water on top it was just salt water and water and and polluted water that's all there was so i don't understand why it was breaking but it was and you can see they're they're running hot right now but you know these warts will take care of it it, it, it'll take care of itself over time, you know. It'll, 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 be, it'll be a little bit. So. Take a look at our gas. All steam in there. And, of course, the steam is expanding and hitting the, hitting the air and cooling down. This will eventually... Um, we'll eventually run out of steam in here. At some point in time. Yeah, we're down to 300... <laughs> 300 kilograms so and we're just dumping it into the atmosphere it'll cool down turn into water and then we'll just take that water pump it into here uh at some point i'm gonna have to put a pump here right right here be fine and we'll just dump the water in here perfectly fine and i'm hoping yeah, this was at 1400 degrees and I'm hoping, I, you know, from time to time it kicks back on because of the temperature. I thought about running some, um, an ice maker and then, you know, run it, making some temperature shift plates out of, out of, uh, ice. I might do that. I might do that. That's, I, I want to see if I can get this under control. And it's a shame that this thing, it broke because the um, it did the same thing that the one over here did. It just stopped functioning. And the temperature got up to four or 500 degrees inside of here. And by that time, it was a snowball. There was no way the steam turb turbine could keep up. So you can see every now and again, it's, it's, um, it's running, but not very well. But we'll I'll try to figure out what to do. I mean, I could, there's, there's three or four things I can do. And uh, let's see, what else did I do? Anything else I've done? 
I don't think I've done anything else of real significant note. Oh, yes. This, <laughs> this liquid reservoir got full of crude oil. And there's no zombie spores in it. So I know the zombie spores did not come from the crude oil. I'm thinking, I just, I honestly don't know how zombie spores got my base. But, you know, things happen. Things happen. And we make, you know, we adapt and we overcome. So... Yeah, this is really all I've been doing for the last hundred cycles or so. Just cleaning up, trying to get things set up nice and neat. Uh, got rid of all the wiring over here. There's no wiring left. All the wiring is gone, except for right here. So all the wiring got cleaned up. Only wiring exists down here. Hopefully these get themselves killed. Fire carbon dioxide. Yeah. They seem to be spreading. I don't know. They're not in the oxygen yet, which is some Yeah. Well if they get in the oxygen we're gonna have bigger problems. Steam temperature too hot, yeah. It'll be that way. So, this one's going to get hurt for a while, but the other one should be fine. Uh, plumbing. Now, the other really weird thing, and I've never seen this before, uh, my pipes were cracking. The steel, I, these, these are made of radiant pipes. The steel pipes were cracking. I couldn't figure out why. And then I found out why. Because Doofus forgot to do something important. When he was putting the... When he was putting in the super coolant. So I had a little... Uh, you know, a little pump here. And I was putting the super coolant into the liquid reservoir. Well, there happened to be steam in the area. Not from this, but I, some other reason or something. And water got in that super coolant. And when I was looking at the plumbing overlay, I couldn't tell that it was water. Because obviously, super coolant looks kind of like water. It's a little, you know, different color. But it didn't look like there's... And there was a blob of water running through this, cracking the pipe. And I was like, what the hell is going on? And then everything started to steam up. And the pump was still operational. So it was taking all the liquids and then dumping it in here. And uh, then that's what I'm figuring it out. Oh, yeah, that's why. Doofus, McDoofer lot. Uh, so, oh, look how much water we have already. That's pretty impressive. I mean, we did dump a whole ocean of what we did dump a big thing of water in there. That was running really well. What are we doing over here? 300 grams. It'll be a while. It'll be a while. So we're just going to let this run. And hopefully I can get a solution for um, this one. If not, it can just burn out for all I care. Uh, and I haven't run the this anymore. I was really scared of my power situation. And all the duplicates now I have been doing. They, they, they had some problems earlier. Uh... They just had so much to do, all the tasks that I was giving them. Oh, yeah, see, look. Our batteries are doing great. We got, we got what, how many Aqua Tuners running? But, oh, yeah, I overfilled this. <laughs> yeah, 37 degrees. So this should be nice and chill after a little while. Was that down to 71? Coming in at 52. Yeah, 73. Hits the first aqua tuner and then gets cooled down again. To 23 degrees. Keeps this area nice and cold. 
32 degrees. And I, and I was also thinking, you know, I don't really need to go to space this this playthrough. Like we, we did space last time. But why do I need why do I need to go to space? We we already went, you know. And then you know, I, I don't need to explore all this stuff. There's just there's a lot of stuff I want to do on the base. So I I don't think I'm going to go to like to the all the planets. The only planets that I would really want to go to are the first ones that are close by, and this one's still nice and chilly, nice and cold, helping keep the area cool. You know, we do. I do have 50 Weezworts just floating around. Uh, oh yeah, the other thing really uh, that happened was let's go up here, uh, right up here. There we go. Uh, some of my Atmos suits were starting to overheat yeah I wonder why because you know the hydrogen was hot you know and so these were made out of lead of course and they started to overheat so I just planted some weasel warts up here and uh, now the whole area is nice and chill you know, weasel warts are great mobile cooling you know and I'm not happy about this I've never had I think you I think I built a really nice weasel wart thing in the previous previous one and it worked pretty well this one is just not working out well look at this look at this coming in 200 degrees uh, at 115 119 yeah so hello game hello there we go and it, it doesn't have to do with the number of number of these see, see there's nothing on these at all these are perfect these are the troublemakers you know, magically appearing regolith and items looks like it's taken care of yeah right there see that there's another one right there <sighs> and I think it has to do with the height of the tiles because three tiles are dropping and when these drill out, it pop. It, I think it pops up, which causes the regolith. That's at uh, 143 degrees, which is okay. But uh, 400 degrees. So I was also thinking about you know trying to do something with power with the uh, with the regolith. I'm like, ah, you know how much power this is going to consume. But then again. We're gonna get 200. We're gonna get a whole bunch of power if we run these. So I might goof around with this. I don't know. Uh, let's see, otherwise the, the 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 two new duplicates, the the replacements, the 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 betters, the better people, have been doing a very good job. They have they have. I am gonna give my hats off to them. They have been uh, on it. No complaining at all. A little bit of stress because we were on a red alert, but we don't need to talk about that right now. Yeah, I'm just going to let them clean up for a while. There's just so much work to be done. And then, oh, yes, um, to run one of these, I don't know if I ran one of these in the previous uh, section or not. So what you do... You, so the auto sweeper right here, see where it ends at the corner of this one, and then it can reach the little, the next one reaches the little output port. So all we do here for this one, boink, and then this one will start picking up all the items. And what we want to do is we want to make this like a one. So the duplicates don't drop stuff off. But let me tell you something. I miss not having coal power and or natural gas power. <laughs> yeah, it's been rough. It's been rough. It's been very, very rough. I thought it would be a challenge, and it is a challenge to try to run a colony on green energy only. 
horrible. In other words, green energy's dumb. So I'm going to do a, a little bit more cleanup. I'm going to probably spend another 100 cycles cleaning up the base. Uh, I do have a plan, however. That plan is going to involve things and stuff. So yeah, I want to clean up the base a little bit more. <clears throat> Just more base, base maintenance stuff, cleaning up, <clears throat> making things look nice again. Yeah, this is another thing that was happening is they were just getting stupid and they were just standing around. So there was a, <clears throat> there was a, <clears throat> there was a talking to, I had to talk to the duplicates. We had a, uh, we had, we had words <clears throat> and they were not kind words. Uh, and I think they understand now that standing around, not doing anything is not acceptable. Not an acceptable, uh, see, look at this. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure something out before this erupts again. 53 cycles from now. Because otherwise we'll have to do something. Stupid zombie spores. So this is kind of what I've been doing. Just cleaning things up. Making things look nice. Opening up space. I thought about taking this salt water and dumping it in here. Uh, just start dumping salt water on this side of the area. Um, after I've, of course, refined it into regular water, you know. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Huh. Well, it's been about 45 minutes. Imagine having the duplicates try to clean up all this. Oh, my gosh. And I have to keep my eye... I've, been having to keep my eye on the power situation because, <laughs> you know, oh yeah, well, you know, reasons. So how are we doing over here now? 298 kilograms. Uh, well, let's turn this off. Uh-oh. Uh, hang on. Why did those break? This has been happening quite often. These should have not, these should have not overheated at all. There's no reason for it. I'll, I'll build these out of thermium or something. Because there's no reason for that. Doors are open. Hmm. Well, I'll have to turn this off. It's a break back in here. Yeah, we'll have to build these out of thermium. What? We should have... Okay. Yeah. I re oh, I also refined some tungsten. And we got plenty of niobium. To make some thermium. So, yeah. 
And that's, that's, that's the, the weird thing about the steam turbines. They've just been acting weird. They've been acting weird lately. Like, there's no reason this should have overheated. Uh, that these should have broken down. Got me. I don't know. Don't understand. Yeah, never, never really had. Oh, that's loud. Never really had any problems with steam turbines until like this last patch. It's just been odd, odd to say the least. Eh, this will cool down. It's only 200 degrees. What's everybody doing? Where's everybody at? What, what are you guys doing? Just picking stuff up for no particular reason? All right, just picking up stuff that you don't want to... Oh, I think the Weezy words are too hot, too. Yeah. So, we'll have to break in here. Replace these. See, those doors should shut right now. So, the doors should be shutting right now. It's above 20,000. Send a green signal. Oh, below. Not it. It's above. Hmm. No idea. Well, I'm going to... Uh, I'm actually going to call it a day. I've been at this for quite a while and there's still other stuff to be done on the map too so there's that anyways that's gonna do it for this one just a bunch of updates probably do the same thing next time do a lot of base maintenance get things working the way it should and remind me never use uh, green energy again because green en energy is dumb all right thanks for watching we'll see you next time